Yo guys, welcome to this video. We are here on the PBE playing the new Wukong guys. That's right. We're gonna play and try him out. We're gonna play him full assassin though. This will be assassin Wukong. One shot Wukong guys. That's right. We're gonna build, build him full lethality because I think he's really good. I think assassin Wukong will be a thing. Um, I mean, let me just explain you why. I know they just nerfed the, what's it called? They nerfed the E. Let's go. We got an assist here. Oh, he said come here, babe. I got the shield, bro. I got the shield. You better back off. Hold on a second. Okay, never mind. Um, let me just explain you why. So, I don't really care about the shield. I know it scales with health and, and shit, but Assassin Wukong was always about just go in and just um, suicide, basically. Kill the ADC and uh, die for it, okay? So, um, I don't really care about the shield if it's strong or not, because I'm supposed to die anyway, so I don't really care about it. So, this is why um, Assassin Wukong, I think, will be good, because they buffed the, the R. And also, the main thing why I, think th why I think this will be good is because of his double dash. He got basically a double dash, guys, on his W and E. So, you can basically, if you want to kill someone, you can just press W... And what happens is, guys, you will be in front of the ADC. That's right. You will be just in his face. Which means that you can just start with an auto attack, followed by a Q, and then ult, and you can just dash away again. You know, you can do it if you are fat enough. You can kill it with that. So I think this will be really good. Also, I'm going to play him very aggressive, guys. I'm going to play him very, very aggressive. So as you can see, I'm running Nimbus Cloak and Ignite and Smite because I'm about to uh, invade that enemy jungler, guys. That's right. We're going to smite this guy here. Let's go. Also, to all the new viewers, guys, I'm a Wukong. Let me just introduce myself. I'm a Wukong main since Season 2. Uh, made it into Diamond 2, playing a lot of Wukong jungle, playing a lot of Wukong mid lane. Um, so I know, I know a lot about Wukong, guys. So speaking about Wukong... Okay, never mind. He just... Uh, I could have killed him, but I misplayed right there. So let's steal just uh, his what's it called? His uh, his red. Oh, he's still here. So we just dash away like that. We're just gonna go throw it out out of that. can do something here I think I got the shield bro oh we need to run I'm dashing out of that kill a baby look at that look at the outplays that's what I'm talking about right there that is what I'm talking about right there with the dash the dash on this W is so genius man hey Lutzberg if you see that hey you are genius dude cuz that dash is like next level man you can outplay people so easy with that dash, because you got basically a double dash, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, this is so good, man. This is so good. So, let's go ahead and do the scuttle here. Boom, and we're going back into my jungle. And I hope I can show you what I'm talking about later on. If this will be a very um, long game, then I can show you what I'm talking about with the, with the assassination, you know what I'm saying? And I was talking about the E. They took damage away from the E, right? But I got a little idea. This is like 200 IQ right there. This is 200 IQ right there, guys. I know how to compensate that. I'm probably going to put it into the thumbnail so you will uh, see it right there. And you call me maybe crazy because of that. But I know how to compensate the E damage. So his E now does ma magical damage, right? And I know a little trick that I'm not going to talk about yet. But later on, just uh, stay tuned. You can say, stay tuned, guys, and you will see what I'm talking about, okay? Oh, bro, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Taking away my jungle camp here? That's rude. That's rude, my friend. So let's go ahead and uh, do that here. The only um, problem I see with his passive, though, is... Um, if you decoy and you get the shield... 
you will not benefit from the shield because people will focus your decoy, right? So why are people focusing your decoy? Your shield will just go away with no effect. So no one will attack you. They will attack your decoy and your shield will be wasted, you can say. So this is the only problem I see with that. So let's go back. We're going back here. I'm too low to gank these people. This is the only problem I see with the shield, okay? The, whenever you press decoy, they will, of course, focus your um, decoy. And they will not focus uh, the what's it called. They will not focus you and your shield will just go away. So, and I think they need to, uh, to think about that. Hey, Lutzberg, if you see that, I think you need to think about that. Because the shield will be wasted, you know. Um, the passive will be not there. So, we will have no passive, you know. So let's go back. I think I can do the. I think I can do the Drake already, cause I got my decoy, you know. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me sweep the area here. Let's do it, baby. Let's see if we can do it here. Boom. See the decoy is helping me. Boom like that. And we cool, man. Level four, and we can take that. Level 4 guys and we can take that shit, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, easy. Just like that. Just like that. Imagine now putting another point into into W. You will take uh, objective so easy with that. Because you will stay longer, alright? So let's go ahead and do the red buff here. I'm close to hit level 6. I need uh, a couple camps. I think 3. And I will be ready for the six. As you can see, I just skipped the uh, jungle item because I don't like it. If you know me, you will know uh, that I don't like the jungle item. This is I like to rush my core build. And uh, that's what I'm basically doing here. So how much for my blue? It is there. So um, we're going to take this blue here. And I think I will be visiting top lane so I'm coming here I'm gonna ping this I think I just came in time here I just came in time my friend I think so what we can do now is like basically um, invade the enemy here because uh, the red buff is about to respawn and you will be not seeing me guys taking any heralds because I was I, w I want this game to be really Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. So, I want a long game. I want a long game, so this means I'm not going to take any heralds. Because I don't want to end the game. You know? So, yeah. It's so easy, man. It's it's really good. Because you can invade people now. Because you got basically two people attacking the enemy. You know? You will have the shield. Okay? So, um, if the enemy turns on you. We're just going to sit here. I think maybe he's going to come here and clear Actually, I think he would go for his blue. Let's go to his blue. So, um, if people, if you invade people, guys, okay? Let's say you invade people. There it is. There it is. This is why I like to run, ba uh, uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Ignite on Wukong. That's why, why I... I like it because you basically don't need flash anymore. You don't need flash anymore, guys, because you got two dashes. You don't need the fucking flash. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if this guy is taking that. I can dash. Look at this. Did you see that? Did you see that? This was basically a flash right there. This was basically a flash right there. So you don't need flash anymore. You got do two dashes, dude. Get rid of these flashes, just take Nimbus Cloak and Ignite with you and you can play so aggressive. Because as I said guys, at the beginning, as I said, you can play very aggressive. So if you invade someone, you will be standing in that brush anyways. This means you will get a you will get a shield. So if you turn on someone, he will have to break your shield first. So your shield is taking the damage. And then, you got basically two people attacking him. You got Decoy and yourself. So look at that. What's up? Okay, I just misplayed right there. I just misplayed right there because I thought I can jump over this little wall, but I can't. 
I actually can. I thought I can. So what happened over there, I just got stuck here. And I just basically flashed against the wall, you can say. So we're going back here. Because I got enough for my dust play. And I'm not sure if this is watered or not, so... I'm assuming it's watered though. So let's go ahead and grab that. As I said, we're going full assassin, guys. Full lethality this game. Yeah, what was I talking about? I was talking about invading, right? So... Um, he has to break your shield first, so a lot of damage will go away by breaking uh, your shield. Then he got two people to fight, your decoy and yourself. So you'll be doing a lot of damage, guys. And you can just ignite this guy and he will uh, get the kill. How, this is how easy it is. Okay. So invading uh, with Wukong will be really good. Yo, I'm here. This is water, though, so... I'm just gonna take the water here. Oh, this is good. I again dashed against the wall, by the way. Oh, I could have killed that guy, actually, with my... Oh, Lord. I need to learn... <laughs> I need to learn uh, the damage, guys. This is my um, second game here. I got a game where I built him bruiser-like. Um, this will be assassin-like. I couldn't uh, upload it because uh, the game was too short. We had a lot of AFKs in the enemy team, so this is why I didn't upload it. So let's go for this here. You can take the objective so easy with that uh, decoy. Look at that. Half-life, baby. Imagine you're building Bruiser. Then you will not drop any health, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and... Oof. Little miscalculation right there. Oh, this guy seems to be dead. This guy seems to be dead. Why are you taking the Herald, bro? Okay, never mind. I think bot lane needs help, to be honest. They are pinging since yesterday, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna show them some love. Is that water? This is not... Oh shit, I just queued, I just queued the what's it called. I just queued the minion right there. So. Okay, Kassadin is coming. Let's go, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. We got this guy. I'm gonna dash forward. See? I dash from here to here, dude. It's so good, man. Hey, Lutzberg, man. That, you're actually a genius, dude. Let's go back. We're pressing the B button. So, um, let me show you right now. Because I don't know how long this game will be. So, let me just show you what I'm talking about, guys. So, I'm, I can't really. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that, guys. That's right. So... For some more magic penetration, guys, since this um, ability does magic damage, um, it skates with AD though, but it does magic damage, guys. So it says over, where is it? Wukong dashes to an enemy, sending out clones that mimic the dash to up to two additional enemies nearby. Each enemy struck takes 135 plus 110 magic damage. So um, they nerfed it a little bit. And if you build uh, these boots, these magic penetration boots, you know, you will do more damage, okay? I'm not sure if you really compensate that damage, if you, if you really um, do the same damage like it was before. But you do more damage, guys, with that. So we got looks coming in, house straight deep. I don't got my ult, though. We're gonna clear these wards, wards first, and then we're gonna... And then we're gonna look for the enemy blue. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm not sure where Olaf is though. Boom, like that. I need one level though for level 10. So let's see if, I, if we can get it somewhere. Olaf is on top lane actually. Let's take it. There it is. How much is his Q doing though? 
69, okay. So let's go top uh, bot lane, I mean. We need to kill these people. They're making my, uh, what's it called, my bot lane very tilted. Straight go for the combo without an auto attack between. So usually you want to E and of course auto attack and then Q and then ult, okay? This is what you want to do usually. But I wanted to see the damage when I go EQ ult. And it's high. So of course this is PBE, so you don't really know if this is OP or not, okay guys? I'm just playing, so I'm not gonna call this OP or any shit. Not clickbaiting on that shit, because this is PBE. But what I'm uh, uh, trying to do here is to get a feeling for that new Wukong. And I gotta say, it feels really good. In my opinion, in my honest and humble opinion, guys, it really feels good. So I'm not sure about you, if you like it or not, but it feels good. I like it. I like the things you can do with the decoy now. The only thing that I don't like, as I said at the beginning, is um, I think there's a, there is a... Uh, anti synergy between between uh, his w and the passive so um this is what i'm talking about you can you can do place with your decoy you can reposition you know what i'm saying you can reposition so easy with that um new decoy you know this is what i like but they have to think about about when I decoy, I get the shield, but the shield will be wasted because people will focus down my decoy. Right? So, uh, they gotta fix that, I think. Never for so, let's go ahead. I got my core built. I got my core items now um, for Assassin Wukong, which is uh, Ghost Blade and Dust Blade. We're gonna go ahead and do this camp here to get the boots that I'm talking about. The uh, magic penetration boots, you know what I'm saying? So... Let's go ahead and do that. How much do I need? I think 800, right? So we're going ahead and do this camp as well. And we will be level 11. So let's go uh, back here. We're going to put another point, of course, into um, R. And we got enough for that boot. So here's the thing, why am I going for these boots, guys? First of all, of course, because of the magic penetration, but then again, think about the other boots. Like, what kind of boots can benefit you benefit, benefit you so much? Like, boots of assistance, you don't really need it, because you are fast enough. You got a Relentless Hunter on your runes, you got a Ghost Blade, so for these engages, you don't really need that. Also, you will dash with your... Um, also, you have a double dash, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and... Okay, you got me on that one though. We're gonna keep on going and pop the ult for that to get the movement speed buff. We're gonna jump like that. Like that, you know what I'm saying? She, she just got me another time with that snare though. So let me just uh, let me just end my, my, uh, my thought right there. Wait, hold on a second. Can I kill that guy? I think I can dash in her face and kill her. There we go. So you can gap, uh, so you can close the gap between yourself and the uh, enemy so good with that new uh, W. So let me just go back to the boots, right? So you don't really need Moby boots, you don't really need, need boots of swiftness because you got enough movement speed. Um, Mercs you don't need it really uh, neither because Assassin Wukong is all about go in, assassinate the squishies and then die for it if, if you have to die for it so you don't really need mercs especially if you are running edge of night you know you will have that special anyway anyways so it will kind of make sure that you will get into these fights um even though if they have cc you know so edge of night is all you need basically so you will get there by uh by just simply using uh these this item so let me go ahead and then and Ninja Tabites, you don't really need it because you don't have to um, deny damage because Wukong, again, is all about go in and assassinate people. So the only the only boots that helps you assassinate people in this case is, guys, these two because of the movement speed 
and magic penetration because of the E. So since I don't need the movement speed, the, the extra movement speed, because I got her already with the Lalentis Hunter over here, and with Ghostblade, if I activate it, I'm already 471. So I don't really need that. I don't really need Boots of Swiftness and, and any more, uh, what's it called? Yeah. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section, guys. They just gave, gave up. I hope you're going to like it anyways. Tell me your thoughts about that with the magic penetration in the comment section. What do you think about it, guys? With that being said, have a wonderful day.